you guys, so today we are looking at this, which is Friday the 13th, part 2. Jason, which has come from the land of AliExpress. Uh, body counts, count continues. There's no bit in the film where it actually does that in the lake, is there? But, anyway. So, this is the last of, and two Jasons that I need. I do also have, um, but mine's a real one, the Jason... Uh, la, la, la. It's my favourite one. Anyway, I've got a real one. But these are all from AliExpress, which means they are either knockoffs or faulties or dirt cheap. Um, I keep getting told different ways to find out. This one has white ties around it. So I've been told that black ties mean it's fake. Black ties mean it's real. I've been told that clear ones means it's fake and clear ones means it's real. This one's got a white one. So which does that mean? Hmm. So we have all the legal easy stuff on the bottom there. If that gives any clues to reality. If you have a real box, does it say the same things on the bottom? We have him on the side there with his nice uh, sack head. Picture on the back. Oh, look, mummy's here. Um, Mrs. Voorhees is dead and Camp Crystal Lake is shut down. But a camp next to the infamous place is stalked by an unknown assailant. Jason. I don't think they call him Jason in the film. Oh no, she does at the end of Jason. Yeah. Should I try the game, Friday the 13th game? They gave it away free on the PlayStation 3, 4. Um, and, I, and I watched um, Cinemassacre the other day. He did a review of it. And I was like, ooh, actually that looks quite good fun. So anyway. Necker real toys down the side there. So that is what is inside the box. And yeah, there is paint scuff on the inside there. You see, sometimes I think these might be Demix. There is paint scuff on the inside there. So let's pop him out of the box. And okay, I was told to check the sellotape. There is no sellotape on this bad boy. So I can't even do that. Oops, his fire fell out. There we go. Um, artwork on the back of the box is uh, trees and, oh hello, trees and things. So, yeah. Right, so I'll stand that there. It's down a little bit. And there he is. <laughs> Turn it back up again. Oh, so professional. In the box. Um, but this is a very thin, very cheap white cable tie holding it in. It's probably so it goes with these. Uh, his mask. Come on. There we go. So I have to say the checks on his shirt are pretty good. He's writing big checks. He's writing big checks. See, I did that because it's checked anyway. Um, yeah. Okay, doesn't seem to want to stand, but there we go. No, maybe, maybe, there we go. Yeah, got him. Wait for the back. Yep, so he stands quite well. Uh, let's have a look at that. That is the face. The eye is pretty well painted. It has the white spot in it. And the sack isn't just one colour. It is mixed up in there. Like I say the shirt pattern is pretty good. He's got a mucky butt. The pants have a certain amount of dirt on them. And the boots are also kind of dirty. Um, it does have the right things written underneath the feet as well, by the looks of it. Yeah. So, huh. right. extras wise, he comes with the other head, which isn't too bad. I have seen I have seen pictures of these that look downright terrible. This one isn't too bad. So have the wonky eye there as well. The hair is a separate piece that is glued on, which is good. He also has, I dropped it, mum's head, which also looks pretty good. She's having a nice nap. She really does want to be on the floor. All right. Um, also comes with, let's see, we've got a kind of a machete thing, a 
focus, pitchfork, spear, axe, I think I'm going to put him with the, and a, a stabby stabby knife, which is also kind of fun. And the camp also has some flames, so that I guess fits, tilt, I guess the flames fit somewhere over that. Like that. <clears throat> That'll do. Shh, leave it. So yeah, there's some. Yeah, you know, I could be there all day. It could be an eternal flame, <laughs> an eternal flame. It's, it's, it's a song by the Bangles. No, okay then. Tough crowd. Right. So let's have a look at articulation. Even though he's a knockoff, we've still got to check. So arms up, arms around, arms back down again. Only ninety degrees. Straight out to 90. It's a shame because the other, the one I did the other day had such great articulation in it. This is the old school articulation. Um, has a little bit of forward, a little bit of back. This is a rubber top, so it does move with him. Legs up, legs out, legs down. Five, six, seven, eight. Um, I've got, I've now got Cotton Eye Joe going through me. I have Cotton Eye Joe. I've been married a long time ago. Um, yeah. It's not too bad. Um, let's see if we can swap the... Hang on. Oh, there we go. Right, it's got a peg in it. And the peg's come out. Okay, so with the other head... <laughs> you see it's got a blue peg in there. So if you've got a real one, you tell me whether it has a blue peg in there. Because that darn thing stuck in there. I'm probably going to leave him that head anyway. Because I must admit that head is a little bit. Uh, and also the wrong colour. And doesn't seem to sit straight. Really. Does it? It's kind of got a tilt to it. So yeah. We are going to leave him with the blue. <laughs> Somebody's going to try and pull that head. Alright, give me a second to pull that in. There we go. So... There he is. We're going to give him that in that hand and that like so. Yeah. So I think he's going to join the rest of the crew. Stood like that. Let's just get the turntable of disaster. I call it that. It's actually quite a successful turntable. There he is. Kill, kill, kill. Ma, ma, ma. Kill, kill, kill. I like the way they've got the little, the little white bit on the back there. Yeah, not too bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there we go. That is another Jason for the collection. Um, near to Halloween I must do a video of all of them all stood together uh, like a group shot. Uh, okay so he is uh, ooh, just a tiny little bit over seven inches tall. So he's quite tall. Um, yeah I kind of like it. Like I said the box looks good. He looks good. I say that that face maybe I don't know. Is that a badly is that a badly painted face? Or do the real ones look like that? They haven't painted the hair on there, so yeah. That's for you to tell me the difference. I say this cost me what like fifteen quid on AliExpress. When you think that a real one's like twenty nine over here in the good old UK, yes, we get um, done over. I was trying to think of the polite way of putting it. Our most pricing over here. So is the end of the video. I hope you uh, have enjoyed this. Please hit the likes, hit the shares, hit the subscribes at the bottom. Really helps the channel. You know the usual stuff. I uh, hope you all have a great day. Hope you all have a great night. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye now.